Hello and welcome to Tuesday's ITV News Meridian. These are tonight's headlines here in the southeast. The Hove businessman who bought the coronavirus to Brighton, Steve Walsh, says his thoughts are with those he unwittingly passed the virus on to, as authorities take no chances with places he visited in shutdown. The father of two who contracted the coronavirus in the Far East and carried it home to Brighton says he's recovering well from his ordeal. He's Steve Walsh, a scout leader from Hove. But the places he's visited in Brighton, a pub and a community centre and nearby locations, a doctor's surgery, schools and a care home, they're taking no chances. They're either temporarily shut or have been isolated on advice from the authorities. We're live now to James Dunham who's in Hove for us. James, Steve Walsh is a scoutmaster at the centre behind you, but it's important to stress he's had no contact with any of the children there. That's right, Fred. As you say, the scout group were keen to stress today that since Steve Walsh's return to the UK, he has had no contact with any of the children that come to this group. Now, the father of two did put out a statement today that, as you say, he said that he was through the worst of the coronavirus. But the job now is for health experts to try and find out who he has come into contact with and the people that they have also come into contact with. It's believed he's linked to a further five cases of the coronavirus and that's why across the city businesses and doctors' surgeries as well as universities are all taking various precautions. He says he's now fully recovered from the coronavirus, but the effects of Steve Walsh's diagnosis are being felt across Brighton and Hove. The Deanway GP practice remained closed today. A sign on the door put it down to organisational health and safety reasons at its sister surgery around two miles away. I'd like to know whether I should be wearing a mask or, or gloves or sanitising my hands or something like that. Questions from residents as the County Oak Medical Centre remained shut. The site deep cleaned after a staff member tested positive for corona. I've become um, quite nervous about going onto campus. There's worry for some university students after a woman studying at Sussex was taken away to be tested for the virus. You can encounter hundreds, maybe thousands of people a day um, on campus, so that, that's definitely worrying. In Hove, two staff members at Cotsmoor St Mary's Primary are self-isolating after coming into contact with a corona patient. Bevendeen Primary is also taking precautions. Um, my understanding is the incubation period is about two weeks, so it's two weeks too late if people are showing symptoms now. And I'm sure I'm happy that the school would close if need be, so they're always very good at telling you if anything should, if we need to know, I'm sure we would know. So. Hysteria has spread onto the kids, so they're getting worried. It's been a stupid thing. The school is still open, but it's written to parents telling them they can keep their children at home as a precaution. It's after one of their staff members had been around somebody who has been told to self-isolate after they came into direct contact with the coronavirus. Public Health England insists it's doing all it can to protect people across the city. But one councillor is concerned that not enough details about Steve Walsh's movements have been released. We just need information, you know, and I think what's been happening over the last few days is that the trickle of information has not been helpful or has come in at the wrong time. The chances are this has actually mutated from bats and become um, transmittable to humans. While scientists look to the source of the coronavirus, this microbiologist tells me people should not worry. And this kind of event does happen. Um, every now and again, we've seen with SARS in 2002-03 and then with MERS, which was 2012. And now that it's in Brighton, should people yes. be worried? No, I don't think they should be worried. I think um, obviously they should be um, take care and take any advice they're given by their medical practitioners. Tonight, Steve Walsh remains in an isolation unit in London. He says he is thinking of those who have caught the coronavirus. And James, we've just heard that a third GP surgery is affected in the city. 
That's right, Sankey. So the Havens, which is near to Preston Park, has also been undergoing a deep clean as a precaution. It's not just doctor's surgeries. This care home in Patcham has closed its doors to visitors after it was visited by a health worker who had the coronavirus. No residents, though, are, we are told, having any symptoms or showing any symptoms of the coronavirus. And James, we've heard some health advice from Brighton and Hove City Council in the last hour. So what are they saying? That's right, Fred. They've delivered a statement to the press. They're basically reiterating the advice of making sure that people wash their hands and keep clean if they show any symptoms or feel unwell to contact the 111 service or visit their GP. And they've also sent a message out to venues across the city, which uh, include lots of people coming into them, such as bars and clubs, and uh, basically urging them to carry out a thorough clean of their premises to ensure that the risk of spreading coronavirus to other people in this city is reduced. More in our late news for now. James Dunham in Hove, thank you very much. So what do we know about how the virus came to Brighton and how it was moved around the city? The latest cases all lead back to one man, businessman Steve Walsh, who attended a three-day conference at the Grand Hyatt Hotel in Singapore. On the 24th of January, he flew to a French ski resort near Chamonix. Four days later, he took an easy jet flight from Geneva to Gatwick and returned home to Brighton. Five days after that, he tested positive for the virus. But by then, it's thought, while in the Alps, he'd already passed it on to 11 other Britons. Five who are still in France, one who returned to Mallorca, and five others who are back in Brighton. One of those Brighton cases is a GP at the County Oaks Medical Centre in the Hollingbury area of Brighton, closed for decontamination. A sister surgery, Deanway, has also closed. Before Steve Walsh tested positive for the virus at the Royal Sussex County Hospital in Brighton, he went to the Grenadier pub in Hove. Five workers there are now in isolation. It's also believed he attended a yoga class at the Cornerstone Community Centre in Hove. Volunteers there have also self-isolated. And just to recap, a third GP surgery in Brighton, the Haven practice near Preston Park, now also being deep cleaned. We're live now to our political correspondent Phil Hornby in Westminster. Phil, concerns in Parliament today as well as concern on the streets of Brighton. Yes, Angita, there was an emergency government statement in the House of Commons uh, this afternoon about the recent events in Brighton. The Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, uh, at pains to express how he feels that the NHS is well prepared and well equipped to deal with this crisis, and he paid particular tribute to the success of the so-called contact tracing process, where they try and track down people who've been in contact with Mr Walsh. This from Caroline Lucas, whose Brighton Pavilion constituency found itself at the centre of the coronavirus alert yesterday. In Brighton and Hove, our thoughts are with those who have tested positive in our city and those linked to them who are in isolation. He will know that there are real concerns locally with another health centre closing today. People need and want more timely and accurate information, not just about washing hands and tissue use, vital though that is, but about things like what does self-isolation actually look like. I think we need a much higher profile public health campaign. And the health secretary paid tribute to her and to the people of Brighton and Hove. We pay tribute to the way that the Honourable Lady has conducted herself, given that it ha the, the uh, number of cases in her constituency um, and the impact on local uh, health services. We have taken action um, urgently when, where the contact tracing has shown that action needs to be taken, and we'll take that proportionate action. Um, but I'm also very keen to be able to provide uh, reassurances to people that we are taking the action that's needed. Each day, the government uh, give us the latest number of cases. The uh, update next that we'll get will be at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. But the Health Secretary stressed in the House of Commons this afternoon that this is a marathon, not a sprint. And he says this crisis will get worse before it gets better. And we'll obviously uh, keep you posted uh, tomorrow on any further developments. Indeed. Phil, thank you. And for more on confirmed coronavirus cases in our region and answers to the most Google questions about the virus, go to our website, itv.com forward slash meridian.
Meanwhile, a business in Eastbourne has been closed because of the virus. The company Rexel say a member of their staff has come into contact with someone suspected of having coronavirus. They say they are strictly following the relevant NHS and government advice and have shut the branch until further notice.